Hello everyone, I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a RoboForce set. Set 2154 RoboMaster from 1997. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started! the completed build. This set is right around 365 pieces and comes with two minifigures. And I actually just finished parting this set together in the last week. I've been working on it for not too long of a time, but for a little while I've been working on it, so I'm super excited to have it complete. I now have the entire RoboForce collection, which sounds super impressive, but it's not because it is only four sets. Definitely one of the smallest sub-theme lines I've ever seen. I think the only one I've seen smaller is the Aqua Raiders series, which was only three sets, but either way I am still super excited to have the complete collection. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigure first. So this set does only come with two minifigures and they are identical minifigures. So this is what he looks like. Super amazing minifigure. Absolutely love it. The parts are incredibly rare. The torso only comes in this set and one other set. The legs are also exclusive to the theme. The helmet is found in a variety of colors but in translucent neon green. It's only in this set and one other RoboForce set. So in that color also exclusive to this sub theme and then he does have a great pattern for the face as well love the silver glasses or goggle print they have for him lots of great color and metallic prints so while you do only get two of the same minifigure at least it is a super fantastic minifigure to get an absolutely amazing space minifigure of the 90s now, I did find parts of this set in a bulk lot, which is the reason I parted it together. It's a little bit more expensive of a set, but I found the most expensive parts already in the bulk lot. And those are these corner dome pieces here in the front in translucent neon green. It does require two of those, and on average, they sell for around $15 to $16 a piece on Bricklink. So right there, you've got $30 
dollars worth of pieces just for those two parts. So since both of those were in there as well as a couple of the minifigure parts and then also this piece was in there as well which is in this set and one other extreme team set from right around this time. So it had the majority of the rare and expensive pieces. In the bulk lot I decided it would be cheaper to part it together than to buy the set outright. So typically what I do is you can add an entire set's inventory to a wanted list on Bricklink. So I do that and then I go through my collection and see what parts I already have kind of in my general inventory that's not a part of a set already, just left over from bulk. I pull all of those pieces out and then see what's left that I'll actually have to purchase. So after doing that, I would say I had about 70 to 80% of the set already complete. So again, much cheaper to just buy the parts I needed than to buy this entire set outright. RoboForce parts, even though it was a small series, are generally pretty inexpensive. And when I say that, I mean the printed and sticker pieces. Even though they're only in a couple sets, they're usually really cheap because unless you're completing a RoboForce set, they're really not used for much else. Definitely saved a ton of money that way and I always say I'm working on at least 10 different sets that I'm completing at any given time so when I'm buying from a Bricklink seller I'm usually buying for multiple sets which always makes the shipping worth it. But this is a fantastic set. It was much larger than I had anticipated. You know you always see pictures of these sets but the scale, it can never really be accurately represented in a photo. So I definitely thought this was a fantastic size set and I love the color scheme for this series. It's kind of funny, RoboForce has almost like two different color schemes. So two sets have this translucent neon green and then two sets have translucent neon orange kind of as their main color. So the minifigures helmets match and the torsos and hands and legs all match whatever color scheme they go with. So that's a little bit different. Usually for space sub themes they picked one color scheme and that was it. So like Space Police 1 would have been the translucent red and black and blue colors. You know Blacktron 1 is that translucent yellow and black. So for them to have two kind of color schemes within a series of four sets I just thought that was pretty interesting. But these sets always have such great movable parts. They were meant to look like a mix between like an animal and a robot. So you've got these great movable arms. There are tons of hinge pieces within this set so that you can move all of the parts kind of functioning as regular arms. Got this gigantic tail that again you can kind of move in whatever direction you want. Radar pieces with holographic silvery stickers. I love those stickers. They're found in some other sets as well. I don't think they're exclusive to this series. I feel like maybe Explorians or something like that also uses these. They're great pieces. It's something I'd love to see come back at some point. You can also move these guys at the top. If you go to the interior there are tons of like dials and timers and panels. Other than the silver holographic stickers everything else is printed which is really nice. So all of those in the back there are printed. This is where your pilot can sit. Got a nice little control tower there in the middle. And then this whole part here in the back detaches. So you get your own little flying device to kind of do some searching and whatever other activities you'd like to do with your additional space guy since it does come with two. I do love how these sets usually have multiple movable mechanisms. Really cool to get a windscreen in that color as well. The translucent neon green just pops so much. I absolutely love it. While this is from years after Mtron, I feel like these sets would go really well with the Mtron series just because they have so many parts in that color as well well. But a great little flying machine there. Got some more patterned pieces for RoboForce. Those are on both sides. I love all of these hose pieces. I did have to get a couple of those. There are four total on this mechanism and I think I had two already and then I had to buy two. So as far as pricier pieces to get, those light gray hose pieces are definitely a little more expensive than a generic part. I also needed all of the wheels but those are really cheap so that wasn't 
isn't too bad. Not exactly sure what this does, but it looks like maybe it's supposed to be a laser or something of that nature. And then you've got like a claw on this end. So you could use these fingers to grip things. It's a great working part there as well. Really all over, just a crazy design. I would love to know who designed the Robo Force series. They are right up my alley. So I'm definitely a big fan. And again, let me know if you know of any sub themes that are four sets or less other than Robo Force and Aqua Raiders. I can't think of any off of the top of my head other than those, but I do only need one more Aqua Raiders set to complete that series as well, which I will probably do in the near future just so I'll have both of those series complete. I don't typically complete full series, but since they're so small, you might as well. <laughs> So this is the largest of the RoboForce sets, which makes it the most expensive, especially since these parts here in the front are so expensive. The minifigures tend to go for a little more than your average minifigure because they're pretty rare as well. Right now, the cheapest complete RoboMaster on Bricklink is $85. So for a 365 piece set, that's definitely a little bit pricier. But if you're able to do what I did where you find maybe the most expensive parts in a bulk lot, you can definitely part it together for cheaper than 85. If not, then it's probably worth the money. I don't know that you could do it for much cheaper since those parts are so expensive. It is a fantastic set. I'm definitely going to leave this one built for a while just because I'm so excited to have it. And if you get the opportunity to get any of the Robo Force sets, I absolutely love them and I definitely recommend them. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra videos and content, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. See you all next time.